One of the worst things a movie can be for me is to be average. You know, you take something uh, good in the Van Damme range, the 88 films are doing like Replicant. That was great. That was something I could really cheer on and shout about. Wonderful. You take something bad in that Van Damme range like uh, Knockoff. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't come together as a film. It's completely bonkers. But it was hell of enjoyable. I had a lot of fun with that kind of movie. It was daft. It was silly. But I enjoyed it. But when a movie's just average, is there really much to say about it? You know, you'd want it to go in one way or another. Double Team is the latest movie from 88 Films Van Damme range. And I threw it on because I couldn't remember a thing about it. I know I've seen the movie. It was a long while ago. I always got it confused with knockoff, but it turns out I rather enjoyed knockoff, even though it's a poorly made movie. Double Team is a very average movie. It has some things that lead towards it being great, but ultimately it just falls into mediocrity, which is really disappointing while watching it. Now, knowing that Dennis Rodman was in this was already a huge crux, something to go over, to, but to be honest, he's not as grating as I thought he was. You get Van Damme playing Jack Quinn, who at the start of this movie eh, completes a job and then retires. Uh, and then we quick jump to three years later to his arch enemy Stavros played by Mickey Rourke is still out and causing chaos and he's brought back for you guessed it one last mission so this mission goes on and uh, Stavros is collecting his son a mission goes awry the son dies Stavros uh, escapes and Van Damme is left injured and passed out in a grenade explosion. He wakes up pretty much in the plot of Prisoner, the Prisoner TV series. He's in a kind of a island which is a hideout for spies who have been disavowed and, and uh, had their deaths published everywhere. They're no longer alive in the eyes of the world but they're alive on this island. They are controlled by a mysterious force um, they're told when to go places and do things and their kind of purpose in life now is to analyse and try and solve terrorist attacks and figure out ways to stop them from happening. Again, I like this aspect of it. This was a kind of fun idea. Yes, it's a complete rip-off of The Prisoner, but I love The Prisoner. So I wanted to see more of that and the fact that these people are here who have had a history with each other leads to a hell of a lot of possibilities. Unfortunately, we don't spend a lot of time here because pretty soon, uh, during their analysing a terrorist mission, Stavros has left a little message uh, for Jack to let him know that he has his wife. So Van Damme has to escape to try and track down Stavros to save his wife and his unborn baby and blah blah blah. Typical action then ensues. It's just kind of by the numbers. It has good points and then deviates away from them to follow the more formulaic uh, tropes of the action movies. Now, the action's pretty fun and genuinely explosive in parts, which I do quite like. Dennis Rodman wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to be, like I said. The direction, of course, is absolutely bonkers from Choi Hark. And he has this strange ability to be, to be controlled and restrained and fun in Once Upon a Time in China and to be just utterly bonkers. Some of the decisions just baffle the mind and add nothing to the story. They seem to be there to be flashy for the sake of it, but they become noticeable and take you out of the movie as you're like, why the hell is he doing that? Double Team was interesting enough. Like I said, it's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. It's just average for Van Damme. The fight scenes are all right, good. The action's all right. Good, the storylines, average, seen it before, seen it done better before and the movie just becomes utterly forgettable as you go on with it. This has been the first one I think out of the Van Damme movies where I've not loved it or not been in uh, an enjoyable fashion throughout it. You know, it starts off strong and then just slowly kind of gets worse. 
I'm going to move on to the next one now, so hopefully that'll be better. But I'd love to know your thoughts on Double Team. Let me know in the comment box below uh, what you loved about it, hated about it, whatever. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.